So good morning. Now let me start today's the lecture. So as usual, please uh, log in the web CT system. And open today's content. Today's content is a uh, Today's content is 14 hyphen C hyphen slide PDF. Uh, today's uh, topic is uh, uh, I introduce uh, one of the concrete applications. Okay. So actually, I have to introduce uh, the final form <laughs> report. Number three, okay. <clears throat> so please uh, select one or uh, several uh, programs shown the next pages. Uh, please make a such a program, okay? So only you have to make a program and submit the source program to me through email, okay? And to try the third pass the end of the, this month, okay? So I prepared five uh, programs. So first program uh, leads the uh, file like this. So this file consists of several uh, scores, integer numbers. Okay. So prepare the, the text file. So your program uh, reads this file and uh, calculate the uh, average, standard deviation, maximum and minimum values. Okay. So already you sometimes make the similar programs. So however, this program you have to read the uh, these data from a file. Okay, this is a difference. <coughs> Second program also read a file uh, like this. Ah uh, no no no, uh, several squads like this, and uh, your program display uh, the histogram like this. Okay. So third program also read a file about the student uh, score like this, student name and uh, scores. And your program uh, have to change the order like this, other uh, descending orders. So you have to use uh, a sorting programs. Already you know, okay? And fourth program also read a file uh, of any English text, okay? Then your program calculate the total number of all characters and the number of each character. Can you understand? So in alphabet, 26 characters. So each character, how many? Uh, the num you have to calculate the number of each character. A character is tara tara, B character tara tara, C character tara tara. Okay? So for example, for example this case, it, the total number of characters, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay? And uh, the number of each character, W, 2, O, 2, R, 2, D, 2, comma, 2, okay? So like this, okay? <laughs> and uh, the last program also is a file, uh, any English text file, okay? 
and uh, you have to your program have to change uh, certain string into a different string. For example, in these cases, uh, iPad string change into the iPod. <laughs> okay. So you you can choose any uh, string like this. So do you have any question about the homework? No? Okay. So let me start today's content, the concrete application. Today I introduce uh, image processing programs and one of the concrete applications. So for example, if you have the, this image files, uh, EU, Japanese character, hiragana, okay? So the program I introduced, check, uh, check the uh, red color pixels. Do you know pixel? Pixel mean pixel is a short term of the pix, picture element. Okay. So image file uh, consists of several pixels. Okay. Each pixel has three uh, data, RGB color data. Okay. So each so each pixel consists of three bytes. So red are uh, a red, uh, green, blue. Each has one byte. So totally, each pixel has three bytes. Okay? So your program uh, have to find the red color pixel and change it into the black color. Otherwise, uh, other pixels, your program have to change into the white colors. Okay? So as I explained, each image, image data consists of three planes, uh, red plane, green plane, blue planes, especially in your computer screen. Okay? <coughs> so of course, uh, your image has a width and a height, okay? This has a integer values. <laughs> to represent the image data, the PP, PPM. PPM is the one of the format, image uh, file format. Uh, very portable and uh, very easy to understand, okay? So oh, this is a, a typical of a content of the image file. So first line, uh, specify the, these data are text, file, text or bi binaries. So 6, 6P, it means the binaries, and 3P means ASCII. ASCII means a text file. Okay, so if you uh, put 6P, you have to put image data as a byte data, okay? If you put that 3P in first line, you have to write the image data as a text data, okay? And uh, the sharp, that means the comments, and the uh, third line is the uh, width and the height. Okay, this case is uh, 128 size, width and the height. And the uh, fourth uh, data, a fourth line data means, uh, as shown here, max value of each pixel. 
okay usually each pixel each each a red a blue green color has a one byte so usually one byte can represent the integer value 0 to 255 okay so the flow of the fifth line the actual data occurs so these three bytes if you if you specify the 6p these are three bytes each byte corresponds to red color green color blue color and the first pixels so first pixel means the left top pixels of the image file image data so the second set three bytes well, correspond to the second pixels okay so such a location as shown here okay first pixel second pixel third pixel Do you have any question about the PPM file format? No? Not so difficult. So as I explained, the program I introduced uh, extracts the red color pixels and change into the block colors. Okay? The other colors change into the uh, white colors, okay? So program consists of these uh, five uh, operations. So first you have to declare any constant values and also you have to declare the variables, arrays, and you have to read image data file, okay? And extract a red color pixels. And uh, if you find the red color pixels, you have to change into the black color, and uh, your program also writes uh, such data into the image file. Okay. So to explain, uh, usually each pixel consists of three bytes: red color, green color, black, uh, blue color. And in these cases. A variable R, capital R, G, B, correspond to such uh, data, red color, green color, blue color, okay? Each variable has uh, one byte, okay? So, using this if sentences, you can check the uh, corresponding color, corresponding pixel is red or other color. Okay, this is a, just a mm, definition. You treat the uh, red colors. So if red value, red color value is equal or larger than 200, okay, and green and blue are equal or less than 100, such pixel. This program treats red color. Okay? So, of course, the image file uh, consists of several pixels. Okay? So, you have to use uh, four sentences to check each pixels. So especially you have to use uh, 
for sentence as nesting. Okay, so I and J is uh, correspond to the position of the image data. Okay, so I is a uh, height. Uh, I the vertical location, and J correspond to the horizontal position. Okay. So, can you understand? Do you have any question? Not so difficult. Okay. So, actually, <laughs> this is not a correct program. You have to use a, a index to specify the i and j. Okay. Actually, R, G, B should be specified by i and j. Okay. So this is the yeah, correct program. Okay. So of course you have to uh, define the one main program. Okay. And uh, second a line is a constant value. You have to uh, specify the maximum uh, width and the height. In this case, it's a six, 140 is the maximum size of the height, uh, width, and the height is uh, 480. Okay, and you have to treat the uh, image data as array. Okay, so to explain, each pixel has three byte data RGB. Okay? So you have to uh, define uh, RGB arrays. Okay? Each array has a maximum width and height size as default. <coughs> so this source the SRC means the source, image, RGB. So once you have to read uh, image data from the file, so such data are stored into these arrays, okay? Then your program checks the red color, and you have to also change the red color into black color. Then you also make a uh, image data as the result. Okay? So such data are stored into this arrays. Okay? EX mean extracted image R, extract image G, extract image B. Okay? So you have to define the two a file, okay, reading file and uh, writing file, okay. In this case, it reading file name is color uh, charts dot ppm, and uh, writing file is uh, ext dot p dot ppm, okay. And uh, so for reading the uh, each line from the source, uh, from the image files. Okay? You have to prepare the storing data as a array of a character type data. Okay? Each size is 100. So in fact, 100 is enough. So because the actual data, actual image data, the size you don't know. So however, the uh, in this case, it's only these are text data. This array is prepared for reading the text data. Uh, this, 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 this line, these lines. So 100 side is uh, enough. Okay.
So next page. Using fopen function, you have to make a file pointer for reading file by specifying the reading file name. Okay. And using fget functions, you can read each line from such a reading file pointer. F is a reading file pointer already open. Okay. Okay. The line is a uh, storing data represented as an uh, array of character data type. And uh, the length is a uh, length means a uh, uh, such maximum size. Okay. So using this line, you can this uh, each line. The maximum size is uh, specified by this length variable. Okay, so actually, so this function needs the first line and second line, and so first line, and second line. The first line and the second line, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So using this function, uh, you uh, program skip a first line. So because the first line uh, means a binary file, specification of the binary file of a text file. So however, this program already knows yeah, your image file is a binary data. Okay? So of course you have to, of course your image file, file is binary data or text data, you don't know. So you have to check the first line, 6P or 3P. However, this program already know the reading file is a binary file, okay? And the second line, from the second line, the, this, a file loop that checks the comments. Okay? So otherwise, the, such a line corresponds to the width and the height, height data. Okay? So using a scan f function, you can uh, store the, such a data, width and the height data into uh, width and the height variables. Okay? And uh, this line is also skipped because yeah, actually in the image file, the, this corresponding line is uh, a maximum size of the image. Usually, maximum size, maximum size of each uh, color data, RGB data, is uh, 255. Okay, and from this, using the nested for loops, you can check each image, each pixels, red or other colors, okay? So if you find the red color using this if function, okay, the such color change into the black. Black is a red, blue, green, color is a zero, zero value. Okay? So other color should be changed into the white, so 255 values. So finally, you have to Light uh, change the data into file, image file. So you have to using fopen function to open the writing file. Okay. And the uh, writing file uh, should be binary, so 
at the first line, you have to put P6 and uh, carry the return. And second line is width and height. Uh, this case is no comment lines. And third line is a maximum size of the each data. Okay, usually 255. From the fourth line, this program puts the actual data, okay, and binary data. So, last lecture, I introduced the to read the each data as a binary data. You have to use the f read function or f write function. So finally, you have to call the f close function. Okay. So that all. Do you have any questions about uh, image processing? Okay. So please uh, so make a program. I introduce and check the behavior of such programs.